I coached at a three month summer camp. The kids were very rich. And the first morning a kid said to me, you can make my bed now. He wasn't being sarcastic or a jerk. He came from a home where his maid slash butler makes his bed every day. I'm gonna be honest, I still don't even make my bed every day. <laughs> I am 29 years old. Are you one of those people who make your bed every day? I'm not. I've tried to get in the habit of that y'all. And I just can't cause it's like, I'm gonna make it messy anyway when I get into it, you know? Like on weekends and stuff, I like making it, but I'm not about to take extra time in the morning to make my bed. Just is what it is. Going through a breakup and a miscarriage, my heart. My friend was upset I wasn't excited to hear about her Europe trip and that the Gucci shirt she ordered came in the wrong color. Someone wrote back, time to ditch her. She's gotta be grateful for what she has. <laughs> Time to ditch her just because like she, I just feel like it seems like she's insensitive to the fact that uh, you're going through a very difficult time right now and you have like real problems and the wrong Gucci shirt is not a real problem. This girl, Amber, she once crashed a car the day she got it and her parents bought her a more expensive, bigger one the next day. <sighs> you know, this is why they will not learn. They won't learn the value of a dollar. They won't learn to appreciate and also take care of their things because you're just gonna replace it anyway with something better. Man, imagine that's how life worked. Something breaks and you get something bigger and better the next day. Wow, all the iPhones I broke, that would have came in handy big time. I have cracked every iPhone screen I've ever owned and that's a fact. Girl had to clean her room before her mom would buy her a new replacement $40,000 horse trailer. It took her months to get her new trailer. Horse trailer, so she's a horse? She has a horse? <sighs> this is a different kind of rich. <laughs> when you have like a kid asking for a new horse trailer for their horse and the trailer is $40,000, you are living in a different world of finances that I will never be able to comprehend. A kid kicked me in the leg. <laughs> While having a tantrum at the doctor's, his mom looked at me and said he's just expressing his frustration and then proceeded to give him a bag of sweets because, well, I'm not sure why, was mega pissed. Honestly, I don't blame the kid. This is all parenting. This is all parenting. My parents would never allow that and they definitely would not hand me a treat if I was having some kind of tantrum like that in public. Oh no, we are not getting rewarded for tantrums. A guy in his mid-20s that worked for me was mad that his father bought him one jet ski. On Christmas, he said to his father, what am I going to do with one? His father bought him a second one so his friends could go to. Wow. I need to be friends with this guy. <laughs> Can I be the friend on the second jet ski, please? I can't imagine. What am I gonna do with this one? Uh, how about write it and say thank you maybe? Be grateful, That there's an idea. There's an idea. I can only imagine how much jet skis cost and to not appreciate one and then get two? Yo, what are y'all doing that you're making so much money? I just need to know. This girl I used to be friends with broke up with her boyfriend because he didn't buy her the $4,000 Cartier bracelet. Is it Cartier? Cartier? Carter? Cartier? I forget how to say it. Bracelet she wanted for her birthday, even though he took her out to a fancy dinner and bought her a bouquet of roses. $4,000? That's crazy for a bracelet? Oh, I'll be Damned, $4,000, that's an engagement ring. Are you crazy? For a bracelet, I don't really own fancy jewelry and any fancy jewelry I do own was because they were gifts from people because I would never buy that. But even that, that's crazy. I would never ask for something like that, ever. I could do so much with $4,000. I'm not about to put that in a bracelet. My kids were watching a YouTube video. Hey, of these two kids who had a challenge going where they stood on the roof of a building holding their phones over the edge and goofing around with them. The first person to drop their phone was the loser. The winner got $1,000 and the loser got a new phone. There's absolutely nothing wrong with either phone. My kids aren't allowed to watch that channel anymore. I can't condone that level of materialism. Good, I am right there with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen these TikTok videos where all these kids like hold their phone over a balcony and like try and flip it as a joke to like see if it'll fall and stuff. And it's like, bro, I would never. Do you know how expensive it 
Do you know how expensive it is to replace an iPhone? And I don't have parents who are gonna sit there and buy me new phones like it's nobody's business. I would have to replace that and I ain't got money for that. So no thanks. My kids wouldn't be watching that. Or they would and this would be like, this is not your life. What you see in the videos does not exist to you. So watch what you want, but it's not happening. This one kid in my class would complain that he was poor. He wore Jordans and lived in a gated area, pissed everyone in the class off. Yeah. That would piss me off. It pissed me off just reading it. If you wear Jordans and you live in a gated community, you don't even know what poor is. I don't think you could fully comprehend what being poor is. I don't have Jordans. I really want a pair of Jordans. I think that's something eventually I'll invest in. I really want a pair of like sick Jordans. When I dated my now wife, she used fur coats instead of blankets. <gasps> because when she tried to nap, they made her feel better. Oh, wow. Well, um, seems like you've married a very wealthy and slightly materialistic person. Maybe that's wrong to say, but I mean, based on the story you just told, I don't really feel bad for saying it. When I was in elementary school, one of my classmates made her mother convince the priest of our church to change the date of our year's first communion to the end of July, when it has always been to mid-September, right at my classmate's birthday. At the ceremony, she looked like she had just been crowned queen when the priest said it was her birthday and the whole church applauded her. What? Why would you even want your birthday on the first communion day? That was so boring. I went to a Catholic grade school and I had to do first communion and all that and it was so boring. I would not want my birthday celebrated on that day. Please no. That's the most boring birthday ever. <laughs> all the religious people are gonna come after me. It's okay, I'm praying for you. While attending college in one state, this kid's mother would drive from the home state to do the kid's laundry on a weekly basis. Last I heard, the kid was married to someone that catered to each and every whim. Well, honestly, I just feel bad for uh, her, in all honesty. Wait, this kid's mother would drive from the home state to do the kid's laundry. Okay. Well, it doesn't say if it's a male or female, so maybe I shouldn't assume it just says kids. You're in college and your mother's doing your laundry. That's humiliating. Um, and now basically your wife is your mother and is doing all the things your mother did. So enjoy that life. But that won't be me. I'll tell you that. I am nobody's mother, especially the person I end up marrying. No, thank you. A girl I knew broke her iPhone 8 Plus and she was bragging to me and some friends that her dad was offering her an iPhone 11. But she didn't want it because it was way too ugly for her and that she wanted to be aesthetic and that with a phone like that would be impossible. I lost some brain cells when she said that. Honestly, I did too. Did you see my face? I was like, what? Like, what? Aesthetic? Girl, what's the difference between the iPhone 8 versus the iPhone 11 plus? Isn't an iPhone like very aesthetically pleasing compared to other like phones? Girl, you tripping. All right, y'all, those are some spoiled freaking people that I genuinely cannot relate to, but maybe you can, and if you can, and you do have money and you're wealthy, I just hope that you're humble about it. That's all, it's okay to have money. You can't help where you came from. If you came from a wealthy family, good for you. But we can all be humble, right? And you know what? We can all be sassy and we can stay classy. And I will see you in another one. Bye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you wanted to be the life of the party, but you really did ruin the party because there was a lot of booze on that table and you just broke it all. You broke it all, sir. You're cut off. I'm sorry. I know you were having a good time and you were the life of the party, I could just tell, but you're cut off. Put that beer in there. <laughs> no, I mean, I saw that coming. I don't get why people do this. You know those things where they put like champagne glasses and they pyramid them like a hundred glasses. It's crazy. And then they start pouring at the top and then it all trickles down magically through these glasses and fills them all up. And then you just take it off this massive pyramid of glass. I don't get it because what a risk, okay? I understand it's cool and whoa, if you can nail it, but one wrong move and that's a lot of broken glass and that's that's a lot of wasted alcohol and I'm just not okay with that. That's a PSA. We need to stop that. That needs to be banned at weddings and parties. Just serve it in a cup and let me drink it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I knew that. Oh, you. No. 
I don't know what's worse in all honesty, wasting alcohol or wasting food. Let's vote. What's worse, wasting food or wasting booze? Depends on your age, obviously. You won't really know the weight of the alcohol bar if you aren't legal. Um, but, ooh, I don't know. I think I would take a piece of cake over a glass of alcohol. And that's a fact, chocolate cake, oh, yes. This is sad. Like people go to birthday parties for the cake. We don't get anything out of birthday parties. Like realistically, I'm not opening presents. You know, I'm giving presents. I'm spending money to basically be there. I want a piece of cake. Where are the birthday candles? Where's the birthday cake? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was that on video? Yes, sir, it was. This will go down in history. I was actually impressed at first though, if you saw like his spin and then even like arched his back and put his head back, like slightly impressive. I don't think I could do that. Um, you just didn't, well, you quite literally stuck the landing. Yeah, I would never trust an at-home pull. Really? Y'all are out here spinning around on that, trusting that you've installed this properly in your home, like by it suctioning to the ground and the ceiling? Like, no. Unless it's like drilled into place and bolted, different story. No one Girl. Saw, no one saw, no one saw, right? No one saw. <laughs> oh, no one saw, no one saw, no one saw, right? <laughs> Girl, you are my friend. We need to hang out because I vibe with her. I'd be the same way if I felt like that. You just, you hop back up. There is something about it. Like you just get back up and you're like, nope, never happened. No one saw, we're good to go. She bounced back so fast. The guy that fell on the pole lied there and accepted his misery. She did not, she did not go down without a fight. She was undefeated and I appreciate that. She's not an alcohol win. Hi, I'm classy. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh That's awesome. That's awesome. Keep going. Dead center, dead center. Is that his? That better be his. The person being like, that's awesome, keep going. And I'm like, is that sarcasm? Or, or are you being serious? Like, what is the point of this? I've never, I'm concerned and very confused. I'm just hoping it's his, his property. And maybe he was like throwing it out anyway. So he thought this would be funny. And that, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm just very confused. What did this stove do to you? Your party, you have the keg. That's all that matters. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs> she gone. Like, I need to watch it again. How did she, did she just slip and whoop? Oh, bye bye. She's gone, she's gone. Luckily, the boat's like not moving and it's very like, it doesn't seem like a far drop. Like I'm sure she's okay, but also risky to just be standing on top of a boat um, trying to dance, especially if alcohol's involved. You know? Oh! Oh! oh. How did that happen? Bro, what? Hold the phone. I need to watch this again. Oh! The person's laughing. Okay, that's hilarious. But genuinely, like, just no balance at all like tried to catch it missed but some like literally he was just standing there and just started leaning it's like his head was just like a weight and he was pulled forward <sighs> i think he needs to be cut off too i've cut off two people in this video i really should cut off a lot of them uh, but my dude i think you need to sit you're a little wobbly when people start getting wobbly when they are standing there and they're wobbly ooh, ooh, that's bad cut them off cut them off i've been wobbly in my day for sure Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is he? What? There's, is that plastic or glass? How is there even a hole? Well, that's annoying. Is this a prank? Did they know and they started filming her and gave her the glass on purpose? Cause I think that's what's happening. Like what a moment to just happen to get on camera. You know, I'm, I'm picking up staged vibes. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. I mean... <laughs>
it was bad from the start if i'm being completely honest like girl i appreciate you are working it you are feeling yourself you're feeling good you're like oh i'm gonna climb on this table do a little twerky twerk sure i'm not against it to, honestly i've probably done that 100 percent uh and i probably looked just as ridiculous to be honest um but i appreciate it you know you're killing it you're feeling yourself i like it i love the confidence um the execution just was not quite there <laughs> Two, three. This is <laughs> the person's laugh. Okay, this would be a lot of fun. I did this as a child and sober, obviously. Um, at my aunt's house, we took a mattress and my sisters and I sat on it and we all went down and it was so fun. Oh my God, she's the coolest aunt ever. I don't know if she even remembers this. Aunt Diane, if you see this, it was you. This was so much fun. I remember it was going down into her basement and we did it for like an hour, man. Like we would just go down, climb back up, go down. Climb. It was so fun. I would do that as an adult. Don't. No! Well, uh, duh. Why would you ever touch one of these fly zapper things? That's like when people go and they touch those like zap wire fences and stuff because they think it's funny. It's like, no, no. Especially your tongue out of anything. You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh, boys. Ah! <laughs> the bar. Bro, is that not bolted to the ground though? Like, what? Boys, men. My boys, they're naive. Boys, men, gentlemen, I've got questions. The bar is sick. It looks like you kind of made it in your garage. It's cool. That's not bolted to the ground at all. No, no, it's just like topples over that easily. I'm just confused a little bit, but you know what? All right, okay. All right, well, those are some people who just uh, want to be the life of the party. Sometimes you don't have to try and you're just the life of the party. <laughs> am I talking about me? Yeah, I'm kidding. Well, kind of, I am a freaking good time, but uh, I'm not that good of time, which means I'm, I'm leaving. Um, so don't worry, I will see you in another video. If you want to stick around, uh, but stay classy out there and stay sassy and be safe. <laughs> be the life of the party, but in like a safe way. My landlord asked if I was going home for Christmas and I said I was. Christmas sucked so I came back early and found my landlord and three of his buddies smoking cigarettes, drinking beer, and playing poker in my living room. <gasps> that's illegal. Like that's trespassing, no? Like that's, I don't know. Yo, that'd be so sketch. That's a lawsuit right there. That'd be a lawsuit if it was me, that's for damn sure. At my first apartment, if I didn't answer the door, my landlord would knock on my bedroom window. If I still didn't answer, he'd open the window. They were really crappy old windows and shout into it. The fact that someone can open your window from outdoor, um, I'm concerned for you. I understand older buildings, older windows, but that's like a safety concern and your landlord should fix that. That's creepy. That's really creepy. I don't have to answer the door to anybody. That does not give you the right to come over to my bedroom window like a weirdo, knock on my door and open it and then shout inside. Bro, I hope you moved like real fast after that. <laughs> Had a leak in the house that went unfixed for weeks. Then my ceiling sprouted black mold in a large patch five feet wide. And while standing under it, denied there was mold and refused to fix it or do anything about it. Ew. One of our previous landlords, when we told them about black mold on one of our spare rooms, they proceeded to sand it off and paint over it and move somebody in the next week. FML. Black mold is not a joke, okay? That can make you very sick. It's not good for pets. It's just gross. It's not a good situation. Anyone who doesn't take black mold seriously or mold in general, mm, I don't trust those people. I do not trust those people. That's spooky. Blech. What's the word I'm thinking of? Asbestos? It's the asbestos in the mold that makes you very sick, right? I'll be very impressed with myself if that's true and that's a thing because I'm not very bright and that's a big word for me. About a month into the COVID pandemic, our bathroom sink started flooding from the drain up. Apparently an emergency room nurse lived above, 
above us and was washing her uniforms in the sink when she got home, but the water was rushing down the drain to the clog and coming back up through our bathroom sink. This was really before anyone knew exactly how it spread. My roommate and I couldn't get in touch with our landlord or sewer for three days and had to stay up all night scooping COVID water out of our sink into the bathtub so our apartment wouldn't flood. You know what? I have a story like this. Last summer, during the pandemic as well, it was the middle of summer. It was like 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit outside. So hot and our air conditioning broke, okay? Our home was like 88 degrees Fahrenheit at one point, almost 90. I have a little seven pound dog. Anyways, we could not get a hold of our landlord for days. We emailed, called, kept getting ignored, all of this. Luckily, we I had to go out and buy fans and I used to sleep with like I had a cold washcloth on my head with a fan and that's how I would sleep and I would just sweat all the time. Yeah. Yeah, terrible, terrible. I had to call the uh, tenant board and then I had to, I to, once I told the landlord, I'm like, I contacted the tenant board and this is gonna become a lawsuit if this isn't a thing. And they were like, oh my God, we're so sorry. We told our landlord that there were rats in the basement. Blech. And she told us we were having, we were being whiny girls about it and she waited two weeks to call an exterminator. We ended up catching over a dozen, blech, two of which were the size of kittens. When the rat babies took over the kitchen, our landlord told us to just eat in the places that don't have rat poop, which doesn't exist. People shouldn't be landlords. Like some people shouldn't be, you know? Like, or like you should be able to revoke them from owning property and renting out because this is disgusting behavior. Almost as disgusting as the rats. No the poop. I once had a landlord that ignored my maintenance requests all the time. Pfft, facts. One time the bathroom door doorknob <laughs> broke off while I was in the bathroom locking me in. Luckily I had my phone with me and was able to call my apartment's, apartment's emergency maintenance line. No one answered for two hours, so I had to break down my door to get out. My landlord called back 12 hours later and asked if I was still locked in my bathroom. I was a single woman living alone at the time and the experience was very traumatic. That would be very scary. I was just thinking about that in my head when I was reading it, like what I would do. You'd have to break down your door. That's the only way because if your front door is locked, even if you called a friend or anything like that, like they wouldn't be able to get into your house to get to you. Yeah, spooky. The apartment my now husband and I were Renting was upstairs in the house. The people that owned the house lived out of state, but their sons were living in it. We gave our rent money to the sons every month as requested by their parents. After about two years, we found out the house was in foreclosure because the sons were using our money to gamble instead of putting it towards the mortgage. <gasps> we then only had a month to find a new place. Damn. That's crazy. And that is like such an unfortunate situation because you wouldn't have any idea and you would literally just be paying your rent, doing what their parents said. Like, you know, there'd be no way of telling that this is what would happen to your money. I had a bike that my landlord hated. <laughs> No matter where I put it, he had a problem with it. He wanted it only in my apartment. One day I came home and it was gone, even though it was locked downstairs on the sidewalk with other bikes that did not live in this building. A few weeks later, he told me he took it to teach me a lesson. He literally cut the lock off of it and took it. That is stealing, sir. That is stealing and guess what? You are not my father, you are not my mother. You don't have the right to teach me some kind of lesson. So up yours. That would be a very quick lawsuit. Well, I don't know why I'm acting. Like I just like have all this money to be like throwing lawsuits at people, but like I would somehow. <laughs> I would. I walked in on my landlord rifling through my medicine cabinet for the, the coded? I was prescribed for my knee surgery. I guess I should have kept my mouth shut when she asked me if I was on pain meds the day before. Why was your landlord in your unit at all? Like going through anything? Like this is just so, I need more details. Are you guys friends? Are people, like do people's landlord just come over and hang out in their place? Like I'm confused. Years ago, my landlord said he wanted to do some work to the bathroom and I thought, great, I'm off on holiday for two weeks. So I told him go ahead, but to have it done by the time I got back. Fast forward two weeks to when I returned jet lagged, smelly and exhausted from the international economy flights to find the entire bathroom ripped out. <gasps> like not even a tile on the wall. When I called the landlord, he did not pick up and he left no note, no email, no text to explain. That's brutal. Brutal. Was there a toilet at least and like a sink? Not that it matters. Well, it does matter, but like not the point. Like obviously still a problem, but like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awful. 
That would suck after a long day of traveling. You're so tired. Our apartment had a boiler furnace that heated our four unit apartment building. We couldn't adjust the heat ourselves aside from opening or closing the vents. Our first winter in that apartment was freezing because the boiler was straight up broken. We contacted the landlord, he looked at it and then literally said, there's nothing I can do, it's up to God. So our entire building railed to get rallied together and threatened to withhold our rent if he didn't fix the problem. He ended up just reimbursing us for the space heaters we had to buy. So that was the problem solving. You go out of your way to go buy space heaters and I'll give you money for that rather than actually fixing the problem like for a long-term solution. Cause that is a crappy landlord. People like that don't deserve to be landlords. My landlord broke into my flat, okay? While I was visiting my mom for a week, ate my food, drank my alcohol and smoked my old roommate's cat's catnip thinking it was the marijuana. His wife had left him and kicked him out, so he thought it was okay to just move in by smashing the kitchen window and making himself at home. I think y'all know what I'm about to say. Lawsuit, breaking and entering, trespassing. Like this, there's so many things. Theft, like it just, Creepy, <laughs> just overall creepy. Freaking creeps out there, man. At some point, my old building's management decided to replace the roofs on all the buildings. Great, right? Not for me. For whatever reason, the roofers decided to use the outlet on my back porch for all their tools. I found out and asked them not to use my outlet. They said they were told the apartment was vacant. Anyway, they said it wouldn't happen again. Next day, they had all their stuff plugged into my outlet again. I complained to management, who said they would take care of it. The roofers tore it off and just kept using my power. I went to management again and they just brushed it off. This went on for two weeks. The next month, my power bill was over $600. When I contacted management, they said there was nothing they could do and gave me a $25 gift card to Panera. No, no freaking, I would physically go out there myself every single day and literally unplug it. There's no chance. There's no chance because I know how Hydra works and I know for a freaking fact that that would come back on me. I would set up a freaking ring camera and say that if you use this again, I am like, I would have evidence because I'm not paying a $600 bill. All right, y'all, those are some shady landlords. Like I said, I don't think everyone deserves to be a landlord. I'm out of here though. If you guys have a story like this, share it in the comments below. And uh, in the meantime, stay classy and stay sassy. All right, this is spoiled people who need a Reality check. Oh, the cleaners are vacuuming my hallway and I really hope you don't hear it. That vacuum is so loud. Hold on, it's like right next to my door. Like kudos to the cleaners for keeping our condo clean, but like I'm trying to film. It'll take only a minute. In the meantime, hydrate. We're just taking a quick water break. Okay, lady, the hallway's only so long right in front of my door. I will be amazed if you can't hear that. It is right here. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. All right, I'm gonna just try and read really, or talk really loud. It's getting a little quieter. People who want to be the life of the party. Me, 2 a.m. Shenanigans, shenanigans. Cool. I want to be the life of the party. Oh my God. Sober. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. I'm just looking at my lights I put in. They're much brighter now. Ow, did you guys hear that? Ow. Oh, my hair's a little messy. Oh boy. It's just gonna have to do, isn't it? Like how do girls have messy hair, but somehow it's cute? And then if I try having messy hair, it's like not a cute messy. You know what I'm saying? Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.